Good morning, guys. Got a full day of activities planned. Got a big day planned out. Got our combine ready to go to the field. Uh, this tractor is fixing to go to Trenton, the Tennessee tractor. There's two air conditioner lines right here going up the corner of this cab up into the top of your cab. And uh, we're going to take out the Tennessee tractor and let Farley replace them. Me and Robert could probably do it, but Farley can do it in half the time that Robert and I. Farley can have it, probably have it done by the end of the amount of time it takes me and Robert to pull our tools out to do it. So we're going to run it to Tennessee tractor and uh, drop it off. right in on the joist plantation. I can hook my disc and my do all of that would make one pass instead of two. Brand new baler picker. Wink wink Matt Griggs. <laughs> Ain't oh. even been put together. Only a only a cool only a cool million right there. On the way to Jackson taking the lost green hornet to brake liner see if they can figure out the code on it see if they can't fix a few things there we are Time to pump you up. <laughs> I think this was our marathon. Oh. 
brand new. Why y'all like it? Does it look any better? I think so. Dylan's trying to be a super trucker. <laughs> okay, I got the water beating up on the paint where we wait. Coming to the forefront. Guys, start at the bottom and work your way to the top. Don't you'll have streaks. already eating that stuff away. This is acid, so don't get it on. We don't want to put this stuff, we don't want to have to put you in a barrel and put this stuff on you and eat you up like Walter White and breaking bad. That's what I've been watching on TV lately is Breaking Bad. Yes, I know I'm about. How long has it been since this show's been out? Five oh, years? Five, oh, ten years? Oh, wow. I'm, I'm, as you can tell with my equipment, I'm normally 20 years behind everybody else. Made a big difference on this side. Wait face and give her another coat though. I gotta do this. I gotta bring my pontoon home and we gotta do this to the tunes on my pontoon. That old lake water boy, it gets them nice. I wanna paint my rims, so I need to paint my rims. You know things that don't get bad when Dylan's painting and shining and uh, you know he's done got bored. We try to make our old cool blue freight liner here just look a look a little nicer, a little more presentable. We got her shined up. And, Acid washed them tanks, and now we're going to repaint our rims white. I'm priming them, priming them right now. Good coat of primer makes a world of difference. I'm no professional painter, so don't be getting your panties in the water if I've done something wrong. Take a before picture. I know it. Before and after. Well, we're going on with our first can of white, our first coat of white. I wish it was done a little better, but maybe when we come along with that, maybe when we come along with that second coat, it'll look a little better. Probably should have got gray primer instead of. Red. That white probably covered that gray a little better. Keep this up be high by the end of the day. You can tell we got our muffler laying on the back of the truck. Waiting on the Thomer Manufacturing in East Perry, Missouri called me back. They're looking to see if I got a five inch chrome straight pipe for me. Going with a five, because if I do that, I ain't got to change clamps. I, all I got to do is repaint my old clamps. And uh, we can use them to clamp that new pipe. 
Uh, if not, they can build me one over there. But uh, they manufacture them. Manufacture every straight pipe I got on one of these tractors. That's where they come from. But maybe he's gonna call me here in about an hour and let me know what he's got. These back wheels, well, the front wheels too. When I get done, when I get done painting the wheels, I'm gonna paint that center hub black. And uh, I'll give him a piece of cardboard. Well, what do y'all think? Better or worse? Waiting on a phone call. I called East Prairie, Missouri about a straight pipe. And of course, naturally, they never called me back. Uh, got the front wheels painted up. Painted the black center cap. Put a little tire foam on them. Oh, what we're we gonna do about this? We may work on this this winter. The chrome's coming off. We may uh, pull that off and pull that off and paint it. Front bumper needs painting. But the old truck, to me. Definitely looks a lot better than it did. Especially the pine thing painting them wheels made a big difference. Get all of our seats out. Well, you like engine oil? Next rainy day, we're gonna have to, that's the two B filed pile. Next rainy day, we're gonna have to get some receipts put in the computer. That way we don't have to do it all in December. I reckon we done become a diggum detail shop around here. We check some corn day, checking 25% moisture. Are you gonna spray that radiator down? Went to Harbor Freight. They don't tell a difference in something. All right, look at this side of the truck. Look at this side of the truck. Y'all tell any difference? We went to Harbor Freight. Why y'all think about that? I mean, I know it ain't perfect. Hell, the old truck's 30-something year old. But I never thought that paint would shine up on that truck like that. Come over here. Look at that. Y'all see me? I was pretty impressed. Went to Harbor Freight after a set of pliers <laughs> and left later with $315 worth of stuff. I bought this buffer, these pads. This is the coarse one. I bought this, uh, Stuff right here and it must be part magic because it's done really good I put some of it on this pad rub the truck down and work my way down to the ultra fine pad and then when I got done now whether this stuff's any good or not I put some of this uh, Meguiar's hybrid ceramic liquid wax on it so uh, it don't take long you apply it let it sit for three to five minutes and then wipe it off which I've been waxing it before I apply that let, we'll see if that don't help help it stay clean a little better right there's where I stop I hadn't done the top of the hood yet. That's pretty good, but should have got another. 
that old truck had a one straight and one with the elbow, and I got the same, but for what we're doing, I should have got, should have got two elbows, or two with the bail on it, but that's all right, I will just, uh, we'll make it work. What do you think, guys? We got a wiper pipe down here. We got to put our exhaust stack on. Uh, yes, I wanted a straight pipe, but it did. We did need is some exhaust work. See right there. Rusted out on where our exhaust went. It's out there on the scrap iron pile it was rusted out robert sprayed some stuff we bought in miley motor parts and burns on that sticker there and it looks like it's working but we put uh we got back here at our flexible pipe put two new elbows on it Uh, welded this exhaust up and we're gonna put a rain cap on it and we're gonna fire this sucker up and see how she sounds. Thank you. 